Hi Neha, good morning. How are you? Hi, Rakesh. I'm fine. How are you? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. So can you please uh, turn on your video? Uh, actually, there is a problem with my webcam. Uh, that's why I'm not able to start my video. Okay. Uh, is it okay if I connect with audio? Yeah, yeah. No issues. That is fine. See, uh, in these days, uh, technical issues are already there, part and parcel of our life. So no worries with that. Okay. So uh, friends, today we have Neha with us and she has got selected in one of the uh, good MNC company after a career gap. So she is going to share her success story and interview experience with her. So congratulations, Neha. For getting selected in uh, as a software tester in one of the reputed MNC company, right? So, would you like to tell us something about yourself first, and then we can discuss about the interview? Yeah, sure. Uh, see, I'm Neha, and I have completed my engineering and masters in engineering as well, uh, and joined as a fresher in one software company. Okay. Uh, there, I was in telecom domain as a software tester. I used to uh, write manual test cases and manual uh, testing only. I was involved in uh, the first company. That is all three years. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, I moved to another company uh, where there. And uh, due to my personal reasons, I had to quit the company in 2015. Okay. Uh, so after that, I was uh, taking care of my family and my daughter. And now uh, that she has gone to school, the last two years I was I try I thought that once my daughter goes to school I can uh, join back or I can try uh, going for a job. Mm -hmm. But uh, last two years she was uh, in home and uh, we were attending uh, online classes and I had to sit with her. So I never thought of uh, going to a job and it was not coming to my mind also. So, but in June, when my daughter goes to school and after that, I had uh, so much time and uh, that I started thinking of uh, why not I should attend an interview, try giving an interview. That time I started seeing your videos when I started uh, searching for some career gap uh, related uh, Googling, I found your videos and few other websites uh, uh, software testing principles and all this I just started reading first of all I thought to join as a school teacher uh, actually I, I'm not very sure if I can get back to IT after this much career gap okay I had seven years of career gap and I thought uh, I might not get uh, any job or like that but uh, first I applied and many rejected because of my career gap also mm -hmm. so I thought to go as a school teacher Okay. Then uh, even I cannot handle one child at my house. I'm getting, uh, I'm not so patient enough to handle my child itself. So I thought it's uh, it's not my area. Mm. So I can go only for, uh, go back to my t testing. So that is where my interest is. Uh, so then I thought, okay, let me try back in uh, testing itself because I was doing testing previously. Mm -hmm. uh, manual testing only. All the six years. I should try in manual testing. Some companies really will have manual testing. So I thought through study selenium, I I heard the new term Jira from, uh, uh, see, I was using only uh, QTP mm. and I was using only quality center yes. and all those things. When I just started seeing few things and testing things, I was so uh, worried whether I will be able to learn all the new things that are new and everything. I was so worried, first of all. Then I thought, okay, I will fix my mind. Like I should go to manual testing only. Mm. Some companies will still do manual testing and uh, whoever uh, needs manual, uh, good manual tester, they will recruit me. That kind of uh, mindset I kept because mm. automation is completely new. I cannot uh, search and read Selenium in one or two months with the way I... Uh, I think uh, so. Okay. I thought like that, but I I gave some interest. I gave some uh, uh, importance to automation as well, and read few uh, uh, with, uh, with, went through some videos mm -hmm. and downloaded few Eclipse and all. And I tried my hand at it, mm -hmm. but I'm not very sure that I can confidently answer in them. So when I, whenever I give interview or whenever I give my resume, I will mention only manual testing. Okay. I will not, uh, I'm not confident enough to say that I'm 
uh, I I know automation like that. Mm-hmm. So I mentioned in my resume and as well as uh, the heading, it was like manual testing job only. Like, with a career gap of seven years. So mm-hmm. with that, if somebody is able to recruit me, then that's fine. That's what that was the mindset I had. Mm-hmm. Then I started going through my previous. Uh, previous uh, knowledge that is test planning and uh, I was doing previously but the terms are different now in Jira and uh, QTP or whatever it is Absolutely. but the, yeah. uh, the management tool is the same the, what, whatever I understood is uh, after going through so much of Jira's uh, uh, videos mm. I understood whatever quality center does Jira also does that is the main thing I understood. So I was confident enough, okay, a test management tools requirement is like giving reports about the defects and giving uh, reports about the test case uh, execution status or RTM. Uh, so all those things it contained. So I was confident enough if uh, the interviewer asked whether you don't have any uh, Jira exposure, I, con- I can confidently say, see, I can work in QZ uh, I know QC better. So whatever the features that QC had, Jira also will have. That is my understanding. I have seen the Jira uh, screens also. If I had an opportunity to work in Jira, then I can really pick up uh, quickly. That, that was my answer in my mind. Okay. Mm, uh, then um, from June, I didn't attend, uh, uh, applied for any uh, jobs. Okay. I just started thinking and June, July, I started processing in my mind. Mm. Okay, so I should be confident enough and uh, after seeing more of your videos uh, really I was so confident okay I can get my job man manual testing and all those things right. first of all I put my uh, resume in indeed okay. indeed only uh-huh. uh, because uh, LinkedIn profile I deleted long back only because I was not working so I thought it's not useful I never thought I will come back to uh, working uh, to IT again. That was my mindset uh, to one year before only. One, maybe in February, I started thinking to go to job after my daughter goes to school. But before one year, I never thought I can get back my any job in IT. Uh, because of seven years gap. I was so down. Uh, uh, so that was my mindset. And in July, I applied in Indeed. Uh, because now I felt... Uh, the... so colleges and get moved yes. but it is it shows how much passion is required even after seven years of career gap the things are still possible luck always yes. the brave. and as you have mentioned yes there is always a god's grace god's grace actually which okay. uh, is helping the people which is helping each of us uh, each one of us over there and uh, whenever we are putting efforts whenever we are doing hard work in the right direction things are falling at the right place Okay, now coming to the questions that you have shared. So let me share my screen. Okay, so these are the questions that you had got. So you had two levels of interview. In the level one, you were asked about uh, introduction of yourself. So that is a straightforward common question. Then what is claims policy admin workflow? Okay, so insurance based, insurance domain based questions are there. Then different stages of a defect. Then what will you do if you find a bug just before the release? How will you engage the team members when application is not available? Okay. What are the things that is considered in QC audit? What is fish moon analysis? 5Y analysis. What is difference between test strategy and test plan document? Right. What is covered in which? Okay. So test strategy, test plan difference. Then... What all test summary report ideally we should have? What are the estimation techniques that you know of? Explain with example. What are the things that you will be seeing in your dashboard when you log in first in the morning? Weekly summary reports highlights. Okay, so basically all reporting kind of things and managing teams. Level two. Yeah. yeah. So level two is what is the difference between regression and smoke testing? How do you test integration of two or more modules? How will you prioritize your name? Defect retesting and test case execution. Okay, so how will you do defect retesting? And then there is test case as well. What is API testing guideware related questions? Then what are the different coverages in a motor policy? What is the challenging situation that you have faced? What are the points you will consider when you will go for automation? How will you handle this situation wherein your team need more time for testing when the release date is nearing? Okay, what can you give? 
when can you give conditional sign off what is your personal organizational goals what are the responsibilities that you think you will have to do between your team members and your manager what are the metrics that your test summary report will have what do you think about jira features as you have not worked in jira okay but you were able to tell confidently like what is jira and all those things okay yeah yeah that was uh, i have worked exclusively in qc where i report uh, every weekly summaries or daily summaries i take it from qc only though so that confidence i had and uh, i told correct what is subrogation litigation and some other insurance terms okay name any few discounts in motor policy that you know what are the surcharges that you know okay great so these were the interview questions that you had gotten okay now let yes. us have a look at your cv what kind of cv we have just wait for it So this is how you have uh, created the CV and you have 8.6 years of experience in software testing. Great. And uh, then you went for a level of CV. So any kind of question that you have got from the CV itself in your interviews? Yes, yes. The questions were all from my CV only. Uh, what uh, what was the role in on site and what uh, in a three member team, what was your role? Okay. And all those questions, I didn't mention it. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. questions no were from my yeah, Great. and uh, what kind of uh, uh, team? Uh, well, how many member team was there in uh, the last uh, last project I worked in? And all those things were there uh, regarding my project because that was I mentioned uh, project related things, right? So mm -hmm. I had questions from there also. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, they, in the interview, they will cover questions related to the project that you are doing, related to the team handling if you have done. Then technical aspect, technical questions would be there. Scenario-based questions would be there. So that is good. Okay. Anything you would like to tell us something about, you know, the range of the salary at earlier, how much you were making and now how much you are telling. So maybe the range of the salary on a high level, if you can tell us. Uh, see, in 2015, I used to get like 8 to 10. Okay. Uh, that was the in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm getting like uh, between uh, 11 to 13. Okay. okay. Uh, because I didn't argue for more uh, or ask for more salaries just because I had a career gap and uh, I just want to uh, have my experience uh, in testing. Mm -hmm. Um Maybe I have to work it hard and uh, learn automation some more and then go for a, uh, ask for a hike or something. But no. I'm okay with whatever I got. So <laughs> it was like that. See, this is actually not the first priority for us. See, if I yes. was also at your place, if I would have got some seven to eight years of career gap, my first priority, my first foremost priority, the P0 thing would be to get a job first, to get yes. the IT market first, right? And then yes. we can slowly and gradually get you know, the hike and those appraisals and salary and all those things. The hike was not in my mind itself because mm. uh, getting into IT and getting into testing it uh, was my first thing uh, in my mind. Mm. So as soon as uh, the offer was given, I was happy. It, I never thought about uh, asking for more or uh, uh, the for the position, whatever the company standards are. I mentioned like that only in the... Mm. Uh, a mail also i mentioned like whatever it's company standards i'm okay with it uh, so <laughs> it was really? like that yeah yeah absolutely that is that is fine and that is i would say that is also uh good see you have got a job after one or two years of experience and if you will learn test automation api testing kind of things then there is no limit to the salary right sky yes. is the limit i would say right so you don't have to worry about those things at all. Okay. Now, any any piece of advice that you would live, like to give to the people who are having career gaps, you know? And yeah, actually, yes, yes. 
<laughs> yeah actually i wanted to con- i contacted you just because to uh, get few people motivated only rakesh because i was so uh, negative uh, at the beginning in june i maybe in february uh, started thinking of going to job itself i was so negative i was uh, not even thinking about it job uh, getting back into it industry but that is not the case if you are a manual tester don't worry about it still manual testing is going on in few companies see uh, i'm not uh, telling not to learn automation and all but whatever you are confident in and what you are whatever uh, you did in previous things with a career gap uh, i'm mentioning these things for career gap people only mm-hmm. uh, whatever you are confident in of whatever you have worked previously if you are confident in those areas then uh, you can definitely uh, get a job um, that is my quest uh, suggestion mm-hmm. so good level of preparation is required and once you are prepared we need to be confident we need to think positive yes. right whenever yes. you will think positive those thoughts will convert into the positive actions and actually positive actions will turn out to be a positive outcomes right so that's a very good thing that you have told you know one should be good confident with the preparation that they have done and need to be confident we need to back ourselves otherwise no one else will okay so great okay so thank you so much uh, neha for coming on our channel and sharing your success story with us i'm sure it would definitely motivate lot of people out there especially the housewives who are having children yes. and uh, there are many women who take uh, maternity leave and due to family circumstances or due to you know uh, situations of the life due to the ch- uh, children and all those things they are not able to move further in their career and when they think then it's sometimes it's you know like 5 years 7 years and then they get demotivated they get disappointed but definitely your story is one of the story uh, it's kind of a gem story right which will actually help people in getting motivated and moving back to their career after a long years of career gap as well yeah. yes with god's grace yeah yeah actually it's god's grace as well and with all your due efforts and hard work yeah. yes so, Thank you so much, Neha, for coming on our channel, and wish you good luck for your career ahead. Thank you, thank you, Rakesh. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.